The Creature Constitution. The Creature Constitution. In Beckerton's Hall, Philadelphia, 1786. None of the creatures in Independence Hall were able to sleep. Every night, the mice in the basement stumbled through the spiders' webs. The spiders perched the mice, screaming at the top of their lungs. The crickets in the closet kept every anyone everyone awake with a、uh, with their all night chirping. Early in the morning, the pigeons in the clock tower started singing. They woke up anyone who managed to get even a few moments of sleep. All the animals were exhausted and miserable. Betty was sick and tired of being exhausted and miserable. He, she had the largest ears of any mouse in Independence Hall, and she heard everything. The nights were become becoming noisier, and she was concerned that no one would ever have a good night's sleep. One morning, she heard humans discussing something that sounded important. Maddie sneaked into the room and listened as they argued about their new nation's constitution. They noticed some rules that everyone in the country would follow. The rules would bring the separate parts of the country together. Maddie thought the constitution was an excellent idea, so she organized a meeting of all the creatures. Every single creature came, from the spiders in basement to the pigeons in the clock tower. There were so many animals packed together around, around the bell in the clock tower, that they could barely move. Thank you for coming, everybody," Maddie said. "The humans have a great idea. They are writing a constitution. We should have our own constitution." "What's a constitution?" asked the pigeon. "It's a document that explains the rules that we all live by," <laughs> Maddie said. "We don't need any rules." Said one of the spiders. When was the last time any of you slept all night? Maddie replied. The crickets keep everyone awake. One mouse snapped. Boo, crickets! Yelled the pigeon. If I hear those crickets chirping one more time, the pigeons wake everyone up thoroughly. That's our fault. <clears throat> the cricket chirped. The crickets and pigeons are awful, said the spider. But the mice were the worst. They keep knocking down our webs. We can't even see your webs," a mouse reported. The pigeons flapped their wings. The crickets chirped. The mice squeaked, and the spiders winded. There was such a commotion that no one could hear a single word anyone was saying. The animals continued arguing until the bell in the clock tower began to ring. Ding dong, ding dong. Maddie covered her large ears and ex- exminded. Hundreds of animals crammed in the room, exhausted and grumpy from lack of sleep. They weren't achieving anything. Maddie remembers that the humans she saw in their meeting were representing the different states. It would be important. Not impossible for everyone who lived in the country to meet in one room. After the last bell chimed, Maddie said to the group, "Listen up! We all want to sleep, so we need to work together." That's what we're doing," called the spider. "We can't meet together in one room because there were too many of us." Maddie said, "Go back to where you live and choose five creatures to represent your group. The creatures you choose represent your." Concerns and problems at the meeting tomorrow. That representatives will then vote on what the new rules will be. That is right," said one of the other mice. "We are not accomplishing anything." The groups returned to where they lived to figure out who would <clears throat> best represent their group. They decided to take votes so every creature would have a say. The elections lasted until last in. The evening, the next day, the creatures representing each group met around the bell in the clock tower. Everyone listened to each group's issues. When the group started arguing, Maddie calmed and down to reminding them to work together. Each group then suggested rules that would allow the creatures to sleep. The creatures spent almost as much time as the humans did coming up with their rules and voting on them. <clears throat> in the end. 
they came out with rules that everyone could argue on. In September of 1786, the preachers signed their constitution. Maria listened to all the preachers had and had convinced them to all work together. <clears throat> Since she was such an amazing listener, the preachers asked Maddie to be their leader. Whenever the groups had a problem, they would bring it to Maddie and <coughs> the representatives. The night, the, the night they signed their constitution, the creatures in Independence Hall fell asleep happy. For the first time in, uh, in as long as they could remember, they all had a great good night's sleep.